Okay, all right. So we live, we're live, we live, we're live. Who gives a shit? All right, so an attempt to do a thing to myself. Okay, there we go. Oh God. Okay, that was not very well thought out. Alrighty, so hello once again, everybody. My name is Juan John John. Welcome back to Just Juan, where we are here to unbox a thing. Now, what is this thing? I'm pretty sure I know what this thing is, but it could be a different thing. So we're going to take and autofocus. Why are you on? I turned you off. Okay, right. Stop the video. Okay, all right. So hopefully autofocus stops being weird. But yeah, we're going to unbox a thing. And I'm pretty sure I know what this thing is. But before we begin, just a quick little PSA. Walmart is a shit service. Walmart.com is a shit place to pre-order stuff from. Because their website makes it sound like you're going to be getting your item on the day of release. When in fact, it's going to ship on the day of release. Which is why... I have this package here on the 25th and not when it was released. I am very salty about that. But yeah, let's open this thing up. And as always, it is, well, not always, but it is, you know, I'm pretty sure some people have already guessed what this is, but do, 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 do. There we go. Yep, I can see it. We have a label, which I'm not going to show on camera because it probably has my address. That and boom. So this is Fire Emblem Warriors. So yeah, Fire Emblem Warriors. Um, I'm a kind of sort of fan of Musou games. I mean, I did own Hyrule Warriors on the 3DS, which I mean, it was I played it a bit, but honestly, the 3DS's screen. Oh boy, the 3DS's screen. But yeah, I've also played um. It's the Sanron Kagura, and also um, on the Switch, I also bought the um, Fate Extella, the sequel to the Fate game on the PlayStation 1 that was a, a RPG about fighting for the Holy Grail on the moon. It, it makes sense in context, and it really it doesn't, it fucking doesn't make sense at all. It's, it's the Nasuverse, it's just, it's convoluted garbage at this point. I don't understand anything. Fate Grand Order has just made things even worse but yeah this is the um crossover between the fire emblem series and the warriors games which i'm actually a bit more excited than i was for hyrule warriors because i'm a very casual fan of zelda and while i've only played two games fire emblem awakening was like the greatest thing ever like, seriously, Fire Emblem Awakening is my single favorite strategy RPG thing ever. And Fire Emblem Fates is, to a lesser extent, I I was, I was enjoyed it. But Fire Emblem Awakening is, like, my best thing ever. But yeah, so there's a special edition of Fire Emblem Warriors. It's a nice little holographic box with some nice little art you can't really see because the camera's picking up the glare of the television behind you why is that thing on oh it's because my um my controller is out of battery so i can't be fucked to actually get up and turn it off so do with that it you will but yeah here we go and yeah it's from all the you know reviews and such it's basically a warriors it's a muso game where you Take control of one character and, you know, pick your favorite combo and just do that over and over again against hordes of enemies. And let's just try to open this box without... Okay, so... Uh, eh, it doesn't look like I did much damage to the box, so that's good. This Oh, God, no. I didn't completely remove the sticker. Okay, so why will you not... Do, 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 do. Oh god. Oh god, everything's going wrong. There we go. No, that's not, that's not. If I wanted to remove the sticker, I would have simply removed it, not cut it open. Oh, this is already going great, can't you tell? Okay, we've opened it up. 
nobody's going to stare at the box at the back of the box. They're going to stare at the front. So as long as we don't ruin that, it's still a good collector's edition. But yeah, open you up. And we have, first things first, this, which is a nice little poster with all of the, at least American releases of the game, American games. Okay, so we got, what, Game Boy Advice, Nintendo DS, into the 3DS, and into the Switch. And we have a Japanese version, you know. Look, we got the games much, much before you. But yeah, I think, okay, yeah, this is just like, they're just telling you where all of the characters come from. So yeah, and I just, okay, so yeah, okay, so we actually get a male and female Corrin, because I don't, actually, do we get a male and female Corrin? Because I don't recall actually seeing the ability to choose a male or female Corrin. And I'd ra and I don't know why, but yeah. So I'm not sure if there's actually a male or female Corrin in there, but let's see what's in the box. So we have the video game. Yeah, there we go. And you can't see shit. Okay, right, yeah. Uh, this, this television is becoming a problem, so off you go. There we go. Much better. So now you can actually see this, and okay, what are... Oh, God, it's my second monitor. So yeah, now we can see this. As you can see here, Fire Emblem Warriors. Let's open it up. Ah. I just realized I have a really sharp, really big knife that I could be using to pry this plastic off. I am an intelligent and adaptive human being. So yeah, there's gonna... And just take this thing off. Do, 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 do. There we go. So there's Fire Emblem Warriors. Hopefully a bit less reflective. And okay, you're now you're reflecting off of my screen. So yeah, there, there's there's the game. There's no actual notebook with it. There's no rule instruction guide. They're probably going to be doing that thing where like you can you have to access it from within the game. But then we have this, a original soundtrack selection. So. This is basically the soundtrack to the end. Jesus Christ. No, this is like, oh, wow. Okay, I was expecting this to be like one of those slipcase soundtracks where it's just like two pieces of paper folded over and then a disc was put in, but this is actually pretty big. This has, oh God, wait, what? This is a selection of front of the soundtrack? It's like three discs. There's like three discs in here. If this is a selection. How big is the soundtrack just by itself? And okay, right, let's just... It did nothing. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh god, why? Hopefully we're not gonna fuck it up too bad. Okay, so... Open Sesame. Okay, right, so there we go. So as you can see, we got the little 8-bit versions from the overworld gameplay sections where you move strategy sections, more or less. And yeah, arranged by recording and yeah, so just a bit of information on who did what in this thing. And yeah, that just looks nice little discs. Look, I mean, I would have preferred to like, honestly, in all honesty, I would have preferred some sort of download code, which there does not appear to be some sort of download code. No, no download code. Okay, right, so... You go back in there, and then we have this thing, and this is, I'm actually not sure what this is. What is this? Includes da, 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 character card set. Oh, okay, I was expecting an art book, but, uh, nom. Here you go. Open Sesame. I said, open. I'm an animal. Growl. For fuck's sake. There we go. 
Mother fu- okay. Can, can you tell that I've had- that I've- Yeah. Can you tell that I'm used to unboxing things on camera? Okay, so... Made a hole big enough for our finger. Therefore... No, oh, I'm strong. Big strong. Alright, so... And, oh god, more plastic, just what we need. Oh, hey, look, it's Anna. Everyone's favorite shopkeeper family of identical twins, including the parents and the children. Don't ask how they managed to get that. Don't ask, because it doesn't work. So, yeah, these are just... Oh, okay, these are these are literally just like cardboard holographic cutouts with different characters. So yeah. Okay. Consider me whelmed. I mean I was expecting like stats or something on the back of these, but no, they're just look at the pretty picture. It's holographic. Look at the artwork. Or like, no way, I don't it, these artwork or are these the character models that have been prettied up? Everyone's favorite little dragon woman. Honestly, I would have preferred her awakening version because that was my second one, uh, my third playthrough is waifu. Who oh, she Tiki was my third playthrough playthrough is waifu, and she like died almost immediately after because like my first playthrough was playing through as a chick, which I married Krom in order to produce disgustingly powerful. Yeah, so Fire Emblem Awakening I've played four times through, and um, Fire Emblem Face I've played through once on the, uh, what is it called? The Birth, Birthright? Birthright plate? That's what the fate is called, because we know they have different, they have different names, the routes, but like the Birthright route, which is the um, Hoshido, if I'm not mistaken. And I also played the... Um, the neutral route where you go, no, I won't fight neither my birth family nor my family who raised me. I will instead choose a third path. Somehow. But yeah, I played through that route. And, um, yeah. There's the game. Gonna stick it in my Switch. Gonna stick that in my TV. And then I'm gonna record some stuff and I'm gonna play through it. And then I'm gonna review it. Or I'll just you know, end up reviewing, like, Wolfenstein or Mario Odyssey. Those two games are coming out soon, but yeah. Okay, nice little collector's edition. I consider myself whelmed. I mean, the soundtrack's probably nice, because I, I, I have a tendency to like the Fire Emblem soundtrack music, because they do some pretty good music, but yeah. That's a good little collection. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm sorry, but I just noticed... Corrin's on the screen. Okay, they have Corrin on here. And I like Corrin. Corrin's a good character, but where's my boy Robin? You know, you could have put, like, male Robin. Why'd you put Krom? Krom? I mean, I actually like him as... Well, I guess... I guess that kind of makes sense. Because, you know, Corrin is actually, like... Instead of being just a tactician on the side who is never mentioned again in history... Corrin is actually the main character, and I actually quite liked her, her, him, kind of, bah, but yeah. So yeah, Fire Emblem Warriors unboxing video thing. Hopefully the game is good. I mean, I feel like, eh, I got my money's worth, really, just, you know, what you normally get with some... If I bought all these things separately, I feel like I would have saved a bunch, a bit of money buying this thing as a package, or I, you know, didn't lose that much money. But yeah, not the best um, little collector's edition I've ever bought, but it's good. So yeah, just gonna stick that on the shelf right next to the Cthulhu crew. Uh, yeah, let's put that in front of that. So yeah, there we go. You go there. Then I need to find some more space for some things. And I'm getting a call. Okay. Okay, so that was interrupted by a random phone call from Las Vegas. I don't understand why, but yeah. Fire Emblem Warriors Special Edition 
not the worst thing I've ever bought, special edition wise, but not the best. Not far from the best. Um, the best would probably go to probably for the Sandron Kagura. Let's get physical edition. In all honesty, that one I really liked. Plus, there's also the fact that I bought it like just because it was like sixty percent off, and had the word special edition. And I have a very itchy trigger finger when it comes to buying stuff. But yeah, Fire Emblem Fates, pretty good special edition. Also, there's still one thing that remains to do. And that is taste test. How does this Nintendo Switch cartridge taste? It tastes horrible. Oh god, it lingers. Oh god, it gets worse. Oh Jesus, no, no, no. Don't lick your Nintendo Switch cartridges, they taste bad. But yeah, that's been Juan John John, or just Juan here for the day. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Be sure to check out the links down below to my website, which I should really update because I've posted a new kind of sort of review. And... You know, I'll update it with this too. Yeah, I haven't touched my website in a while, which considering that I'm paying $100 for it, I should probably do. But yeah, do that. Do stuff. Be good to each other. Just, yeah, I'm still shit at ending videos. Goodbye. Touch the...